If you really believe in certain ideas, you likely have already taken action to share them with others in the hope that they'll incorporate and act upon them. You may already hand out flyers in person or post them around town, have a bumper sticker on your car, use a green beam laser, or hold a sign. But holding sign only works during the daylight, right? Not so. Some individuals, many under the banner of Light Brigade, work at night to share ideas. You can too. To begin, get some sign material. Most often used is corrugated plastic as it's light, strong, waterproof, and relatively inexpensive. You can pick up a 4x8 sheet or bundle of smaller sheets at hardware stores or sign shops. Or you can collect unused political signs and paint them black. Lay out your design. Note that when stationed atop interstate overpasses, it'll be tough for passing motorists to read a small sign. Thus, you may want to just have one letter per sign. Use a simple font that's easy to read. Use a nail or small drill bit to create the holes for the LED lights. They should be about one to one and a half inches apart. Insert the LED lights into the holes. The fit should be snug. These LED lights can be gotten at hardware stores, retail stores, or on eBay, and you should be able to get a really good deal on some right after Christmas passes. They run about 10 bucks per string. Use liquid nails, or for a cheaper option, a hot glue gun, to secure the LED lights in place. Before you insert the LED lights, plan ahead. You may want to leapfrog holes to ensure that you can reach the proper area on the sign. If needed, you can always put electrical tape over an LED light so it won't show. Slap a piece of Velcro onto the back of the sign and the other piece of Velcro onto the LED light's battery compartment. Word on the street is that IKEA is a good place to get batteries that'll work well. And you're ready to go, though some opt to frame the back of the sign with wood strips and then screw on a corrugated plastic cover. If you do add a back cover, be sure to make holes over the on and off switch on each battery pack so that the LED lights can be easily operated. Much thanks to Tampa Cop Watch who provided input for this video and to the Overpass Light Brigade whose how-to guide was also referenced. I look forward to seeing y'all's videos using these LED signs. You have a right to protest, but if somebody crashes because of paying attention to signs,